the day after using a toner pad, the makeup just sits a lot better. It looks a lot more natural and flawless. Managed to stock up. So for those who are really battling with hyperpigmentation, wow, this feels really fresh. Hello, Mean 40 community, and welcome back. If we're meeting for the first time, this is a channel that's meant for those in your 40s looking for easy and simple skincare routines to combat the signs of aging using Korean skincare products, clean alternatives, and health supplements. Today, we'll continue our series on exfoliation and take a look at toner pads. Toner pads is something that I discovered while I was traveling in Korea in 2018. The reason why these have become a staple in my skincare routine in my 40s is because I really love the convenience. They're just very quick, about five seconds to wipe and throw out the pad, making them also very hygienic in that you're not dipping your fingers into a pot of cream. Really ideal for busy moms or just busy people in general who are especially tired at the end of the night, but they still want to take care and preserve the youth of their skin. But a toner pad is a really great introduction to what we can do to treat adult acne uh, or even maskne. Both of them are characterized because they occur in the lower half of the face, along the chin, um, the lip area, and the jawline. And uh, the same way that maskne contributes towards these pimples that occur from deep within, Adult acne is caused by hormonal disruptions or changes. Uh, things like pregnancy and menopause can really change the estrogen levels in women, but men can also experience adult acne as well through a combination of hormonal changes as well as lifestyle changes. During periods of stress is when you tend to see flare-ups and adults, they see it in the lower half of their face. Adult acne and maskne can be very challenging to deal with in our 40s, just because we're not used to experiencing pimples at that age. But it is definitely treatable, and skincare products are one of the key pieces of the puzzle in order to combat adult acne. I narrowed it down to my select favorites, and I will be talking about them by going through four different purchasing points. The first is the gentleness versus abrasiveness. The second is the effective ingredients that help towards maintaining our skin in our 40s or fighting hyperpigmentation and acne scars, as well as just controlling flare-ups is one of the factors that I consider when I purchase a, a toning pad. And then the third is the stickiness factor. I personally like rich creams and essences, but I definitely don't like the stickiness that comes with certain skincare products. So I will let you know which ones I found to be a little on the sticky side. And those are the products that I don't tend to use as often as the toner pads that give that refreshing feel. And then the final element is the cost factor. I find in general that toner pads are very cost effective. I just feel that toner pads are really great in our 40s because when we don't have the time or even then the services being closed in Canada at the moment, we're not able to get the benefits of a deep pore cleanse. A really good toner pad can help with these by buffing away the dead and dull skin cells and help the products absorb a lot better. For those who are still wearing makeup, and even during the lockdown phase, I sometimes do, I find that the day after using a toner pad, the makeup just sits a lot better. It looks a lot more natural and flawless. Now let's take a look at my favorite toning pads. These are all from the Korean skincare lines. I find that Koreans have really, really invested their energy and efforts into finding the right combination of chemical exfoliants and toner ingredients into their toner pad and making sure that they stay soaked in the nutrients and they don't dry up. The first one that I will take you through is the Kosar X original clear pad. This one has been rebranded, so the ones that you'll see online, they don't look like this, but they do work the same way. I've gone through so many, like this is an empty, I started another one. I've also managed to stock up. So this is one of my favorite products because it is very gentle and it's very good for daily use. It also has a lot of great quality BHAs in it. I'm going to put them into the lower part of this video because I have a hard time pronouncing them. Willow bark is VZ, but the other one, 
They're both a form of BHA and they're a gentler form of salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is one of those chemical exfoliants that go deep within the pores to really target those cysts and the stubborn um, acne to make sure that the pores are being cleansed from within. The way that I use this toner pad is I grab one and then I quickly cap it to preserve the moisture. And it's got two different sides. I don't know if you can see, but one of them is a smooth and the other one is an embossed. The embossed side I use first and I sweep it in circular motions, going across my face, focusing on the cheeks where the hyperpigmentation is the most. And then when I have a form of mask knee, then I really focus in on the lower areas, just doing gentle circular motions. And then on the cheeks, I wipe upwards. I don't tug downwards because I just find that that may help uh, with the sagginess uh, to increase. So I just go upwards. And then finally at the end with the smooth side, I just pat in the remaining toner. So this is a really refreshing pad. I absolutely do not feel any form of stickiness. It has a really nice scent, but the scent comes from essential oils like tea tree, which is known to be anti microbial or antibacterial. The cost factor is very modest. It's less than $30 for one of these and it contains 70 pieces, meaning that it will last me, if I use it every day, it'll last me a little bit more than two months. So this is one that I highly recommend. It's on the top of my list. The second Korean exfoliating pad is the Neogen. This is the fermented wine pad. It's called a gauze and peeling because it's a little bit more abrasive and this is not meant to be used daily. It's more of a every other day. What I do is I take one of these pads and it's very, very thick because quickly cap it. It has three layers of cotton. The first is a gauze, which is uh, quite scratchy and this will help buff away those dead skin cells, removing the outer layer, allowing for the more youthful cells to emerge. And then the other side is embossed as well, but it's very, very smooth and gentle. And that is the finisher to pat in the remaining essence. I've used this for a number of years and I really enjoy this product because it does contribute towards maintaining elastic elasticity and firmer skin. The active ingredient in this is a fermented red wine and it's loaded with antioxidants. I especially like this because it has a plant form, um, which again, I will write in the bottom of this video because I can't pronounce it, but this is a, a naturally incurring antioxidant within plants and it helps towards smoothing the fine lines and helping with the tightness of the skin. The stickiness factor of this, I will have to admit, it's a lot stickier than the COSRX. This one is very rich, and the remedy for that is some people, they rinse it off with warm water at the end. I have really dry skin, so for me, if I pat it into my face and I use it before bedtime, it absorbs pretty well and the next morning I wake up and my skin is very, very soft and supple. So I don't mind the stickiness as much because when I put it in the fridge, it comes out refreshing onto the skin surface when I initially use it. And the gauze helps with really doing that buffing factor. So I feel a difference and I see a difference the next morning. In terms of the cost, there's 30 pads in here and it's less than $35. So about a dollar a pad which is well worth it because the quality is very high quality with the three layers of cotton, the different textures, and the essence that soaked afterwards. When I'm done all the pads and I go through all 30 of them, there is still essence remaining. So I take my own cotton pads and then I soak them and I'm able to really benefit from the fermented essence afterwards as well. This is another Neogen product. And this one is the lemon peel. You can see it. It's a Bio Peel Plus and it's a, a lemon um, flavor instead of the wine flavor. Was flavor even the right word? Uh, it's a lemon based gauze. The texture is the same in that it comes with the three layers, the gauze, the center layer to soak up the essence, and then the smooth side to pat in 
do your face afterwards. I'm gonna actually demo this real time because I haven't tried this since I ordered it off of Amazon. But uh, on the label, it says that it is um, a no wash pad. So let's see it in terms of the stickiness factor. And the beauty of the lemon is, is that it does do different things from the wine. The wine is for firming and the lemon is more for fighting hyperpigmentation. It contains AHAs that combat the surface of the skin to um, get rid of any dark spots and acne scars. So for those who are really battling with hyperpigmentation, even the extreme forms like melasma, I really recommend that you give this one a try. Um, I'm really excited about it because of all of the, the great citrus ingredients. There's lemon and there's orange oils as well as papaya. So when I open this, you can see the bright yellow color which is beautiful and a remove one and then very quickly cap it to retain the moisture. You can see that it's loaded with essence. It's got so much liquid inside that the pads are especially saturated. What I like to do is in order to keep them moist, I kind of take the entire stack out and then reverse them from time to time so that each of the cotton pads can remain saturated. I'm going to try this for the first time with you. Slide my fingers into the pad with the gauze side first. I'm going to try on this side of my face because there is a really stubborn sunspot here that I'm really working on with vitamin C's and chemical exfoliants. So this may help benefit me erasing it and then getting that nice even skin tone. Wow, this feels really fresh. I'm gonna do some circular motions. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I, I am applying some pressure. But even though I am, my face isn't red or irritated. It actually feels really, really good in that I think my skin is able to breathe a bit more. I'm going to focus on the areas with the hyperpigmentation first and normally I would do all over my face of course but uh, on this side I wanted to demo another product that I'm opening for the first time today so I'll just continue with the neck and even behind the ears and then I adjust my finger position so that I can get more unused gauze area wow that really feels refreshing it feels like my pores are opening up just by using this pad. And then sometimes I like to use it on my elbows too, just to make the most out of it. Using the smoother side, you just pat the rest of the essence. Oh, that's so refreshing. It doesn't have a strong perfumey scent, which I really appreciate, but instead it's more of a gentle lemon and it's, it's infused with essential oils, so I'm not worried about anything being um, harmful to my skin or having a lot of toxic chemicals, which Neogen is known to not use. So this is really great. It also doesn't contain alcohol, so it feels really nice. I don't feel the stickiness from this. Actually, it feels really refreshing and I think it absorbs quite well into my skin, if you can see. This Sika pad, it's called the Real Sika pad, also by Neogen, is very different in texture from the wine and the lemon. It contains a lot of essential nutrients that help with calming the skin. The essential ingredients that I'm going to put down here that make this really effective, because I, can't, I have a hard time pronouncing them, but anyway, it helps with protecting the surface, the skin barrier for those with acne skin and open wounds. The texture of this pad is quite different from the wine and the lemon in that it's very gentle. So when I get one of the pads, it does have two sides to it. So there's a smoother side and there's an embossed side. These days, I've been experiencing some trouble areas around the mask area. And then also I had a really big pimple at the edge of my nose 
And so using the Sika pad really helped with calming that major troubled area. And then also my skin didn't feel tight because there's no alcohol in here and it helps with maintaining a certain level of moisture without stripping it dry. So I really like this one. The stickiness factor was surprising because I did find it to have a bit of stickiness. And the way that I dealt with that was I actually cut the pad in half. And I used a half a pad for my entire face and neck and I found that that was enough. And then at the end I just really pressed the essence into my face with my hands sometimes using the back of the hands because that's where it's kind of drier. This is a brand called Nightingale and I bought this when I was in Korea and I also see it online but this one is a value purchase. I just saw that it was um, less than $10 Canadian for 70 pads and when I saw this I was like okay well I think it's worth a try. Um, the advertisement here says that it takes three seconds for cleansing it removes makeup and it also clears the pores um, and then at the same time it's a very comfortable way of cleansing so let me open this I love opening new skincare products like that noise of opening the packaging is just so satisfying but this one is interesting in that it's a pop-up lid so you don't have to go through the motions of unscrewing the lid so it's really convenient and then Underneath it is another layer, it's another seals. For this one, I'm going to completely remove the seal. And then it revealed a texture pad. Again, similar to the other ones, there's a lot of essence in here. If you can see, the pads are just floating around in the liquid. I'm gonna grab one of these. Oh, I'm very, very surprised by how it's so soaked in the essence. The description says that it's a mild form of cleansing and I'm gonna start with the embossed side as I usually do. And I am wearing a bit of concealer on this side so let's see how good it is at removing makeup. So one wipe, and you can see all of that. And then let's see if it removes my lip. Oh, pretty effective. So it's supposed to also remove eyeliner, but I'm not really wearing eyeliner except for my eyelashes. So I won't do that, but I think just at least from the foundation or or concealer it's pretty effective at removing most of the gunk and then the smooth side is supposed to be to pat in the remaining essence so as you can see my skin is not irritated it's a little bit pink but i think that that's normal for tone up pads and for me this is very gentle it contains uh, seven kinds of natural ingredients, so that automatically is a plus. And there's also no alcohol in this. There's no fragrance because the soft scent does come from ingredients like lavender essential oils, chamomile, um, so that is another bonus. And that fragrances tend to irritate the skin a little bit more. So especially if you are focusing on removing impurities, you certainly don't want to add anything extra that you don't need. Um, there's a lot of essence in here and because I kept it in the fridge, it's really refreshing. Uh, sometimes when I just want to calm my skin, this can act as a spot mask. So I just put it on like this and then leave it if I'm blow drying my hair. It will also protect the moisture levels in my skin and, and avoid dehydrating it from the artificial air. But because this is filled with concealer, I'm going to discard it. Toner pads are excellent products when they're used in the right way as they're meant to be. So for people who are looking for a quick way to clean their face without washing it, uh, I don't think that a toning pad will replace the double cleanse. I really recommend that you incorporate this as a third step 
And the first would be an oil cleanse, the second would be washing with water or micellar water, and then the third would be a toner pad. After using a toning pad, especially if you've never used one before, I would really love to hear from you. So leave a comment below to let me know if it has made a difference in the way that your skin looks and feels and also how the products are absorbing onto your skin. If you are liking the videos like this, I will continue on with the exfoliation series because I do think that it's an important step into our 40s for us to help with the cell turnover and revealing a more youthful complexion. I will continue on with the series and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you and take care.